Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how we will secure the internal network of your router where all the devices are, insi are like inside. Uh, the private IP addresses are like IP addresses which are assigned to all your devices. They can range from the number 1 to 255, which is the maximum number. Uh, all kind of like the all kind of devices can be assigned to. So for example, if the number of your let's say Windows system will be 25 uh or any phone could be also like three four or like your um android phone could also be uh three six or iphone could be 40 or anything like that and all kind of routers they will have different kind of numbers which they will assign to devices it could either be this uh, 10 0, 0, 6, 5, or like the uh, 192.168.1 and the appending number which assigns the uh, well the devices when you connect it to the Wi-Fi router. But the the gateway IP, which is the IP of the router, will always have the number one append behind. For this IP address number, it will be 192.168.1.1, and for this IP address uh, assigning, it will be 0, 0.0. 0 0.1 so they will always have one behind so that's how the gateway ip routers will uh, be assigned into the network so the gateway ip is also the ip address of the router uh, the router uh, is specifically used to share the internet from the internet service provider to all your devices when you inter enter the password and connect to the wi-fi basically that's how it works and uh, in the next clips i will show you guys how we will find the ip address of your um, device and also find the uh, gateway IP address of your router on different kind of systems like the Windows and Linux system and how we will also then secure it. So in this clip I will show you guys how we will see the IP address of your device on your Windows and Linux system and also look at the gateway router which is assigned to it. So we will first open a terminal here, run this administrator, and this is on the Windows system. We will write IP config in the command line terminal, and as you guys can see here, that's your private IP address of your device. That's your default gateway um, of your router. That's the IP address of your router. So now, if you want, for example, to do it on a Linux system, we can open the Linux system, and you guys will have to have internet connection, of course. We will open the terminal here. Make it bigger and write our password outside to get full privilege clear the screen we can write for example ip root and you guys will see your private ip address here and this is will be your interface name of your uh, adapter or wireless internet adapter and that will be the default root or gateway of your ip address basically so those uh, are very much needed to actually uh, see our gateway IP that we can configure the router to have more security. I will show in the next clips how we can actually implement different kind of security measures so the service of the attacks against the hackers or malicious actors will be reduced. So if you guys know the gateway IP address of your router as seen here, you guys can copy this one, go to your browser and just uh, paste it inside the URL bar here and then we will see here the uh, login panel where we will actually need to give in our password and username so if you guys don't know it you guys can actually look uh, behind the router I will show you this here so as you guys can see here that's uh, my router and that's uh, behind the router basically the credentials and information as you guys can see that's the login username and there's the login password that's the ip address gateway that's the mac address uh and also that's also the name of my router to log uh, and like to log in like to get wi-fi connection and also that's the password or the key or a password of it to actually log in and have internet and that's also the name of the 5g version of my router and that's also the password of it so so uh, the WLAN uh, key or password is only for like connecting to have internet, but the username password is used to connect to the router gateway IP address to configure it more specifically.
else you guys can actually um, go to a website and, for example, write 3BB, the name of your uh, router company, default, password, login. And as you guys can see, the default username is 3BB, for, for 3BB is admin, the default password is 3BB. But for my uh, router, the, the username is actually admin, and the password is 2318. Validation codes are RX U5 that you guys will need to give in. And also then you guys will just need to click on login. And as you guys can see here, we have actually access to the gateway router panel where we can configure or set up the security of the internet service provider um, device basically. So if you guys arrive at the service page of your router and have logged in, we can go to the network tab. So on every router, uh, their options and configuration uh, login page will look differently. But you guys will need to find the right tab where you can change like the password of it. So for me, it's on this advanced network tab. So if you wait a little bit, um, as you guys can see, that's my Wi-Fi name. You guys for the better change it for example to a different name i will change it to this because uh, hackers call basically uh find vulnerabilities like vulnerabilities related to your uh, wi-fi router by its name and then i will also uh, implement the cryptographic algorithm to the latest level here you guys can google about about it uh, about the security and the uh, passphrase is like the password you guys can change if you inspect element and write your text uh, to look at the password is a numeric value. This can be cracked very easily. So you guys could, for example, change it to security router and then put symbolic values and some other numbers like this. Uh, most of the uh, crackers or hackers call and crack it and will be very hard to do. So it will be very basically very hard for them to crack inside your network. So after that, you guys just click apply. And then this will actually put your guys' router, uh, like reboot it and put it into a different state of configuration. And you guys can also then do it same for the 5G option, as you guys can see here. And you will just do the same here and also change uh, the password, inspect element to look at the password which is written inside, and write security router uh, 53 and then apply. So then you guys will have a different name and also more uh, password security that someone cannot crack inside your Wi-Fi wireless router, basically. The one option will be to disable the VPS service. So it's on this tab for me, the VPS. You guys will just uh, click on disable and then apply. And also for the 5G network, disable and apply. So why is this important? Because most VPS services have vulnerability against brute forcing. Uh, and it's like a service which promotes uh, or like uh, turns on a service where you guys can uh, uh, give numeric pins to actually authenticate the router, but hackers can misuse it to gain access to your network maliciously. So that's very important to disable it, so the hackers won't have a bigger service to attack and exploit your router, basically. Another security implementation you guys can do, which is very important, is to change the DNS server, because, uh, as you guys can see here, the primary DNS server on this network cloud settings tab, on my uh, gateway page, uh, it's set up on the internet service provide 3VB, which I... Uh, our own uh, the device uh, that all the networking traffic from me will be sent out actually to the, uh, the internet service provider which provides me internet so we don't want them to actually see our connection and networking traffic that goes around so we can for example choose from this list from this website different kind of dns servers you guys will need to find a dns server that you guys trust and is which is reliable and has a uh, good security but i will choose for that cloudflare uh specifically actually the cloudflare uh, dns servers that i know 
are like 1.1.1.1 for the primary DNS and the secondary will be 1.0.0.1 so first of all when we look at the windows uh, command line it's set up on the gateway into the service providing, providing information but now if I apply this one and then I will reboot the router I will show you guys in the next clip it will look different on the terminal. So after I restarted the router uh, and reloaded the page, you guys can see here, that's my primary DNS, secondary DNS, so it's saved up. And if we want to actually check it out, if it really works, we can write NS lookup again with this tool to see uh, if all our devices on, us, on our uh, network will use this DNS server. So this setting will make all devices like phone, computers, use this specific DNS server, which translates like IP addresses to domain names so it's very important to use a secure one so all our networking traffic won't get sent out to a malicious extra remotely it's important that we also turn off the remote control as it can be that we can get controlled remotely by the internet service provider or it will actually turn our gateway ip address publicly available to the internet public address so it's important that we need to actually disable this one and apply this won't let anyone actually remotely control our router gateway and serves anonymity for our um, router basically so it will also important to enable the firewall on your router i will enable this so what this will do it will put uh, security upon your public ip address or internal IP address of your router and those are like the underlying options where you guys can actually filter specific um, IP addresses, host names and, and MAC addresses and so on. Uh, I will not get into it but we will actually also enable the anti-pod scan so we cannot actually get scanned and the packets will be dropped basically if someone tries to scan our router gateway. So that's also for security implementation, which you guys can set up on your router. So what also will be important, which is to change your default login page, as many routers these days uh, called be locked in, and also uh, the malicious actor called actually change the password or always get access and manage your network from the inside. So the old password for mine was 2318, which I will always log in. The new password I will set up as um, security uh, 675. And I will copy this one inside security 675. And then you will apply it. So after we, for example, close the page and then we try to log in again, we write admin and then security. 675.44xgt so we have changed the password so that's very important to know because main hackers can just access your gateway page by just uh logging logging in with the default uh password and username that they can search up on the internet also important is to so so your data doesn't get captured your password doesn't get captured is to use https on your gateway router so the data is encrypted if you actually log in um, you guys can also set it up here if you guys didn't set up enable and also one thing that will be also important is to actually enable ddos uh, protection so nobody in the public uh, can actually attack or disable your wi-fi internet connection or internally also inside your network where all the devices are inside apply and enable it if you haven't enabled it So one thing we will need to set up is also put the static IP option to the dynamic one. So uh, the static IP option means uh, you have the same IP address, like public IP address, the whole time when you turn on your router or restart it. But uh, if you change it, change it like to dynamic IP address, then uh, every time you restart the router, a new IP address will be assigned to you. And also you won't have a vulnerability to be scanned or exploited as the IP doesn't stay the same. So the option to change it can be here. As you, can, you guys can see, I have PPO, a point-to-point -point, uh, tunneling, which is by default on my router. So I don't have the problem about the static IP. So I already have a very 
good implement implementation of security setup. But if you guys will need to uh, set it up, uh, it's usually when you will see in the options that you guys have like static IP set up. So change it to different options and then uh, apply. And you guys will have also a better security about your public IP address. Thanks for watching my videos and if you guys uh, liked the video and it helped you guys to secure your own router, you guys can subscribe to my channel. So all routers have different configurations also uh, that you guys uh, can set up. So every router is not the same. My, in my ISP or internet service provider is called 3 dbb So as you guys maybe want to know. Um, anyways, thanks a lot for watching again and uh, see you guys in the next videos.